How to operate MLK 500 Heavy Duty Programmable Electronic Pattern Sewer Hitex MLK 500 Heavy Duty High Speed Programmable Pattern Sewing Machine can make a revolution in your sewing production of cargo lashing straps, height safety harness, seatbelts, FIBC sling bags, and other heavyweight sewing applications. All units are thoroughly tested before delivery and are ready to operate, very easy to use and maintain. This film made by David. Step 1 Unboxing Cut the plastic straps. Remove all wood screws around the four bottom sides. Lift up heavy wooden box, 50 kgs, require at least 4 workers. Remove the bolts that fixing machine onto pallet. Move the machine from the pallet to ground. Remove the strap and wrapping film. Step 2, Checking Check the hole on needle plate. Make sure that no stuff blocking the needle hole. Step 3, Turn on the machine. Connect to the air compressor. This is a switch that controls the air pressure. Push it to right to open it. This is the oil water separator. The value of oil water separator is 0.5 to 0.6 MPA. Connect a power supply, 220-240D 50-60HZ, one phase. Press on to turn on the machine. Step 4 of Introduction of Basic Switch This is the key of origin point. If the pressing frame is at upper position, clamp cannot back to origin point and the system will prompt an error. Please down the frame by pressing the right foot pedal. System prompt will disappear. Click the origin point key again. The needle and clamp will back to origin point. This is right and left pressing frame. Press right foot pedal to down or lift pressing frame. This is quick change clamp. There are two switches that control the quick change clamp. The left one is switch A, and the right one is switch B. Let's look at the right switch B, it has two modes. When it turns to manual operation, the switch A can control the quick change clamp independently. When it turns to automaticity, the switch A cannot control the quick change clamp anymore. 
When you press the switch at, no reaction with the quick change clamp. Both quick change clamping system and pressing frame are controlled by the right foot pedal. Down pressing framing, the quick change clamping system close. Lift pressing framing, the quick change clamping system open. You can choose a proper mode according to your sewing product. This is emergency stop switch. If you need to stop the machine immediately, for example, the bobbin thread runs out, please press the emergency stop switch. Machine will stop immediately. When the emergency stop switch is activated, all other commands are invalid except the power switch. So you need to release the emergency stop switch by turning it to the right. Step 5, Pattern Selection. Down the pressing frame, click the origin point key. Click the pattern number here, or click left slash right arrow, to select the pattern you need. Here you can adjust the sewing speed of the pattern, according to the thickness of material. Step 6, Trial Sewing and Adjust the Start Point. Whenever select a new pattern, you need to perform the trial sewing. This is bottom plate. Lift the pressing frame. Put the bottom plate. Lock the quick change clamping system. Then down the pressing frame. This is the key for start point. Press this key, machine will back to the start point. Make sure the needle hole is within the cutout of bottom plate. Press the up or down arrow to move needle forward or backward. Press and hold the up arrow, needle will continue moving forward till finish the trial sewing. Please watch carefully during trial sewing. Make sure the needle hole always within the cutout of bottom plate. After trial sewing, press the origin point key. If the sewing pattern is not in proper position, please click this key, enter to the start point, modify interface. The blue mark in the upper right corner of the pattern is the current start point. You can adjust the start point by pressing these arrow keys. For example, press the left arrow, the value of the X axis displayed minus 9.2 millimeters, that means the start point moved to the left 9.2 millimeters. If you increase the value to 30, click confirmation key. Click the overwrite. Click confirmation key again. The start point of new sewing pattern moved to left 30 millimeters. After the adjustment, please perform trial sewing again. Check the sewing pattern position, repeat the adjustment till a proper position. Step 7, adjust the height of intermittent presser foot. Lift pressing frame, take out the material, put onto bottom plate, make the edge of material close to the needle, down the pressing frame, press this key to lift or down the intermittent presser foot. Turn the flywheel down needle to the lowest position. Loosen the presser foot screw, adjust the presser foot height.
Usually the presser foot should be 2 to 3 millimeters lower than the material surface. Tighten the screw. Lift the intermittent presser foot. Step 8. Threading, winding, install the bobbin. Take out the thread stand. Install it onto table. Put bottom thread onto thread stand. Threading the bottom thread as we do in the video. Take out a bobbin after threading. Wind bottom thread onto bobbin. Put the bobbin into winder. Push the holder to fix bobbin. Press the winding key. Enter into bobbin winding mode. Press the left pedal, start winding. The bobbin holder will be sprung out when bobbin is full. Press the left pedal, stop winding. Click the exit key to exit winding mode. Take out the bobbin case from rotary hook. Take the bobbin. Install bobbin into bobbin case. Trim the excess thread. The thread tail should be 5 to 6 centimeters. Install the bobbin case into rotary hook. Then put the upper thread on thread stand. Threading your machine as we do in the video. Here the thread goes around the sub-thread tension 3 quarters, turn counterclockwise. Here the thread goes around the main thread tension 3 quarters, turn clockwise. Down the intermittent presser foot for facilitate threading. Lift the presser foot after threading the needle hole. After threading machine, cut the excess thread, the thread tail should be 5 to 6 centimeters. Step 9 Sewing. 
Press the star point key. Lift the pressing frame. Install the material. Down pressing frame to fix the material. Adjust the the needle cooler, make su nozzle aim at needle. The the machine start to sew, needle cooler will automatically work. Turn the air pressure regulator, it can adjust the blowing pressure. Press the left foot pedal to start sewing. After first sewing, check the top and bottom sides stitch quality. Make sure no skip stitch, bobbin thread knots, tangles and other stitching defects. Step 10. Replace with pre-install clamp. Remove the bottom plate. Remove these four screws. Remove the pressing frame. Prepare the pre-install clamp. Install material onto clamp. Turn the switch B to automaticity. Put the pre-install clamp, lock it by press the right pedal. Select new sewing pattern. Press the origin point key. Turn the flywheel to down needle, make sure that the needle aim at the origin hole. Perform trial sewing as previous step 6. Adjust the height of intermittent presser foot as previous step 7. After finish the adjustment, you can start the sewing production. Check the top and bottom sides stitch quality. If you have any additional question or contact our engineer at info at automatic-sewing.com, thank you for your time.